Oh, excuse me. My apologies. I guess I did not hear you come in. I heard that tune played last week for the first time, and it's just stuck in my craw. I understand the poor composer died a few years back. Only 35 and a family too. A shame. Name was Mozart, if memory serves me. Do you like it? It's an old favorite, and I just laid in some more batting. Last winter was one of the coldest I can remember, and my husband, not that he's a lazy man, mind you, but he's prone to sleeping through the nights these days and not tend to the fire. These extra layers should keep my feet warm, even if the fire settles to embers. You know, I overheard some of what that young lad was talking about, telling how wonderful life is in Sandwich. Maybe through the eyes of a child, but let me tell you, it's hard here, and very hard sometimes. For instance, the poor Crocker boy some years back, he slipped on the ice and an ox cart ran over his head. Nothing they could do to the poor lad. Twelve years old too, just beginning to be a big help to his father. Brings to mind poor Benjamin Smith and his wife. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they had ten children and not one of them lived past childhood. Sad, so sad. He had so little money with all those burials that the town ended up paying for a number of the coffins. Just the other day, a third generation crocker lost his wife while she was giving birth. The child died too, so they buried them in the same grave. It seems like if you can make it through the first years, your chances of seeing your grandchildren are making it to 80 are pretty good. The Lord willing, of course. It takes a strong back and a good sized family to run a farm. Which reminds me of how Samuel Jennings came to be the town's first teacher instead of working in soil. As the story goes, he sailed to England on a family matter and got himself impounded in the Royal Navy, practically a prisoner. Well, he jumped ship in Barbados and swam to a boat bound for Boston, but a shark got hold of him. Bit him so badly, the ship's surgeon had to cut off his arm and part off his foot. Well, when he made it back to Sandwich, it was clear he could do no farming, so he took to teaching instead. Speaking of injuries, my husband Benjamin Oh, and my name is Lydia, by the way, Lydia Percival. Anyway, Ben was out splitting stakes last spring, and his axe slipped off the wood and right into his ankle bone, a really deep wound. I feared he was going to be badly crippled, but I wrapped it up nice and tight, and it healed just fine, just in time for planting. Excuse me while I stretch a bit. I'm not as young as I used to be, and these old bones do ache when I sit too long. I've been feeling pretty well lately, Smallpox has been around again, but I had it as a girl. Not too many people sleep this time, and my children are all healthy, thank the Lord, except perhaps for John. Nearly five years ago, he set off on the voyage from Nantucket awaiting. We've not had a letter in over a year. I pray soon he will come bursting through the door and give me a great big bear hug. Will you excuse me, Lord? The one thing that gives me strength is my faith in God. Ben and I belong to the second parish here in Sandwich, you know. There was just one church until the scandal. Tell me you didn't know about that one. Well, the mother of the child was not sure who the father was. But the Reverend was one of the suspects. Now, I don't condone that kind of behavior, but the preacher, being a reasonable man, confessed his misdeeds with the council and saw to it his sister adopted and raised the child. You must think I'm such a gossip. Well, I, it's not true. You know what I've just heard? Dr. Freeman just confiscated the property of another Tory in town. There's just no stopping that man. Back when the war, he was beaten to within an inch of his life by a bunch of English sympathizers who hung around Newcomb's Tavern. I suppose he's still trying to get even. Well, Look, i said too much already. I don't really know you after all. Why don't you just leave me be and head over to Fessman's Tavern? I'm sure someone there knows more about it than I do. Thanks for the company anyway.